So you probably clicked on this video because you need to do a screen replacement onto your video. Well, I'm gonna show you just that in today's video, all using DaVinci Resolve, and it's gonna be really easy. If you guys wanna follow along with me and you're just doing this for fun, then the practice footage will be down below. So let's get into this tutorial. Cool, so you have your footage here in DaVinci Resolve and it's nice and you know, it's going all over the place essentially. So it's going all over the place just like this. And after it's going all over the place, we need to just head into the Fusion page. Now after the Fusion page, this is where the sauce comes. Now I will highly advise that if you filmed your video and you do not have these tracker points on your laptop, I would highly advise you go refilm it because these tracker points are gonna be the main point as to why we are gonna get the results that we're gonna get today. Okay, cool. So we're gonna hit Shift Space for a planner tracker and we are going to come to right here and we're just going to draw a simple box right here. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're just gonna draw a simple box and we're going to hit set. We're gonna come to the right tracking position and we're gonna hit track right. And as you can see, it's going to easily grab these tracking points. Now I'm gonna come all the way to the end and I'm gonna retrack it by going left. We're gonna hit the go level and it's gonna bring us back to their original point. And then we're just going to hit track left. Great, now that we have our tracking image, all we have to do is come to corner pin. And now we can literally just move our, our, our translation to wherever we want it to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in to about 200 and we're gonna bring this corner over here. We're gonna bring this corner over here. This corner obviously over to this corner. And then we're gonna bring the last corner and bring it over down here. Now we wanna get it nearly perfect. So make sure you're zooming in and getting it nearly perfect. I think for so far right now, I got it nearly perfect. And we can wiggle this through and you can kind of see exactly that we do have it pretty perfect. And if you get a bad track, just delete the actual planner tracker node and then just go ahead and redo it. Sometimes the planner tracker node isn't necessarily perfect. So if you need to go redo it, then it's not the end of the world. You can easily just go redo it and add it in because it's really not a hard effect. Now, like I said, we do want to get precise. Cool. Now that we have it pretty precise, now what we need to do is bring in what we actually want to replace it with. So I'm going to bring in my, my video that I want to replace it with. And you're going to notice you have three outputs. If we hover over to this green one, it's going to literally say corner pin. And that's exactly what we want because we did use the corner pin. Now, what we first need to do is add in what's called a merge. And we need to add this in and we need to add this into this media too, which is our image. And then we're going to add a color corrector node onto the merge as well. Then after the color corrector, this is just for actual like, you know, good levels. We're going to add a blur in as well. And then I'm going to take the output of this blur and put it to the green of the planner tracker. Great. As you can see, now we literally have our video tracked almost nearly perfectly. Now, honestly, we do have some edges that are still looking a little rough. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and I'm going to literally go to full max 400 right here. And we're going to get this puppy perfect. So once you resize it and you click off, it looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Like it looks really realistic. It tracks on my, on my laptop and everything. The only thing is, is now we need to really mess with this color correcting because it looks really off. Like this looks almost too perfect to be in the shot. The shot is not perfect. So we need to turn the saturation down. So that way it mixes with the rest of the video. And I have like this cool, like dark tint coming to my video. So I almost want to bring in, bring in color, color it just a little bit like my video. Cause at the end of the day, it does, it's supposed to look like my video. Now, the last thing we need to add is going to be the blur node. And we do need to actually end up blurring it just a little bit. I'm talking just a hair. And when we play this through, it looks, I don't know, it looks really realistic to me. And this is for if you still want the better quality video, but you still also want it to be realistic at the same time. So instead of filming on your camera with the actual video, you're gonna have a glare. Rather than this, there's gonna be no glare. It's gonna look almost nearly perfect. And obviously I could have had a better example with the screen more in a clear version, like a clearer vision, then I would have had better results. But I think these are pretty, still pretty good results for what I just did. And then boom, let's say you now need to add some animation to your title. For some reason, let's just say you need to add animation. I'm just gonna go to Motion Text Pro, which is my actual pack that you can find first link down in the description and we can go ahead and do, so I just typed out screen replacement effect for the time sake of today's video. And if we play this through, we have this cool sick animation that then goes out. So that's just how you use my text animation pack. You can get that first link in the description. But anyways, guys, that's exactly how you're gonna do the screen replacement effect in DaVinci Resolve. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a subscribe if you found this helpful and I'll see you guys in the next video.